Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian, thanks for coming back for a new video. It's Wednesday, hump day, and today I'm going to be doing an open cup pour. Uh, Mina did a piece this past Sunday using some really awesome colors, a little custom colors she'd made, so I am going to use those colors and not exactly ex what she used, but they're pretty close. So um, I thought this would be kind of a great color of palette to do an open cup pour, so I'm gonna do that. Also, don't forget, this coming Sunday, my Facebook art auction closes at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So remember, if you want to make a bid for any of my pieces, head over to my Facebook page and click on the art auction album and make sure you go ahead and put your bid in in the comment section. Remember to change the comments over to the newest that way you get the most recent bid that somebody already bid for. You want to make sure your bid is higher than theirs. Again, it is going to close on Sunday, July 10th at 5 p.m. All right, let's get down on the canvas. Let's get started with this pour. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've got here is an 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. It's taped and push pinned on the back. Let's talk about these colors real quick. Like I said, they're very similar to what Mina did. I, they're not exact though. So today I'm going to be using uh, Deco Art in the silver mixed with some titanium white. So I get this nice whitish metallic color. I'm using Liquitex Basics in the Thalo Green mixed with green gold from Folk Art. So it's giving me this kind of almost like the uh, emerald green from Deco Art. Uh, 24 karat gold, of course. Uh, bright aqua green in the Liquitex as well. This is a color I mixed up special. It is obsidian mixed with the bronze antique. This is not the same color that Mina used, but I wanted to give a little darkness to it. We're gonna see how well this plays with the other colors. The next color I'm using, I am using uh, Sapphire from Deco Art Metallics mixed with some cobalt blue, which I got this gorgeous color here. And then of course I'm using Thalo Blue from Liquitex Basics. I'm gonna flood it with the um, Thalo Blue and then we'll start to pour with the open cup. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is pour a little here in the center. Okay, now I'm gonna pour from up high because I want my paint to kind of hit the top coat. Kind of sink down. Thalo green mixture. And the more paint I add, it's just gonna push out from the bottom, the gold. Bright aqua green. very sparingly on the obsidian. We'll use this cobalt blue mixture. Some more silver and some of the phthalo blue. And I'm Wow, this is really selling up. Gorgeous. All right, I think I'm gonna spin it off this way and I'm gonna do maybe one or two more, we'll see. Just lightly picking up and dragging and twisting off. Voila. 
Loving that, loving that, loving that. All right, so I think now I'm gonna stick one over here. Pour some of the blue in there. We'll start off with the silver again. Thalo green mixture. The gold. Bright aqua green. Very sparingly on the obsidian. Kind of scared of that color. <laughs> we'll use this cobalt blue mixture. Some more silver and some of the phthalo blue. And I might have to direct this because the cup wants to come off. I'm lifting it up just a little bit to keep it from falling off to the right here. And I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer over here. And then I'll spin the cup off. Lift and twist. The last one right here, little puddle of the phthalo blue. Put the cup right down in the center there. One last pour. Puddling off the wrong direction. So by lifting it up, it's still coming out from under the cup. And it's actually going down to the right direction that I want it to go. I'm going to slowly twist. And bring it off. Liking these two, there's a lot of gold happening over here, so we're gonna see what it does. Let's give this a little torch. Let's give this a tilt.
Wow, that's really cool. Leave this bad boy right there. Get a torch, clean up the edges, and bring you guys in. I think my favorite part is up here in the left-hand corner. Loving how this is really stretched out. All right, we'll see this when it dries. I'll be right back. All right, here is the dried result. Looking great. It's starting to rain a little bit, so I'm under the deck here, so, um, but I should be protected long enough to do this video. Let me bring you in here. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. The piece dried really wonderful. Uh, thanks to the humidity, it dried really quick in less than 24 hours. All perfect, no dried boogies or anything in there. Uh, very happy with it. So I'm gonna stick this up on my Etsy shop today. You can head over there and check it out. Two things, don't forget my Facebook auction that closes this coming Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. You can go over there and bid on any of the pieces that you see there. There's 24 pieces. Also, I am running a 40% off everything in my Etsy shop. It's going to end Friday night at midnight. So uh, you can check out some of those more recent pieces over there if you're interested in those. Because again, they're 40% off, guys. So head over there, check those out. All right, everyone, I will see you in Sunday's video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.